A few videos back, I released a set of templates for 3ds Max that allowed you to animate characters with biped and export them to Unreal Engine without any need for retargeting. And since then, I've gotten numerous requests asking, hey, can you make the same thing for Cat, 3ds Max's other character animation system? So by popular request, here they are. Like I did for Biped, I've created a template for each of the Unreal mannequins. The Unreal 4, male and female. Here is the male. Here is the female. And the Unreal 5 mannequins. The male is named Manny, and the female is named Quinn. And just like the Biped templates, these will allow you to export characters and animations using Cat without having to do any retargeting. When you open up any of the templates, you're going to see something like this. Now, if you open up your uh, Layer Manager, Scene Explorer, or Outliner, uh, you'll see that I've organized everything neatly into layers. The first layer contains the uh, character model itself. I can toggle it on and off. Second layer contains all the bones that make up the Unreal skeleton. Third layer contains the cat rig. And the fourth layer contains various rigging helpers that kind of work behind the scenes to make this whole system work. And you can pretty much just ignore everything in this layer. Um, you're mostly concerned about the first three. Now, if I hide the cat rig, this shows the Unreal skeleton. If I zoom in here and I turn the cat rig back on, um, you can see I've color-coded the Unreal Skeleton to match the colors of the cat rig, just to keep everything nice and visually pleasing. Now, how this works is uh, if I just grab the uh, cat rig's foot and move it, you'll see that the uh, Unreal Skeleton follows right along with whatever the cat rig is doing. And that's how this system works. Even if I, uh, if I grab the hand here and rotate it, you can see all those twist bones rotate right along with the cat rig. So anything you can do with cat, the Unreal Skeleton will follow right along with it. And that's the core of how this works. Now let's apply some animation to the rig. Now what better way to demonstrate this than by using some cat motion, some procedurally generated animation. So I've got a cat motion layer here, and I'm just going to activate it. And this is my 10 minute attempt at getting a nice female walk cycle. And I think it looks pretty good. Let me hide the cat rig so we can get a better look. There's the front and a view from the back. You got some nice hip swing action going. And all in all, I think it's a decent walk cycle for a female character. And it was all done with cat motion. No keyframing at all, it's all done procedurally. So let's export this to Unreal now. And to do that, um, since we only are worried about the animation, we don't need anything except for the Unreal skeleton bones. So I'm just going to select all these bones, everything on this layer, and I'm going to go to File, Export Selected, and let's just call this cat motion and the uh, settings that could be concerned about here in the export dialog is make sure convert deforming dummies to bones is checked animation bake animation the uh, deformation settings and then z up and then just hit ok all right now let's head over to unreal engine here in unreal engine i've got the default third person template opened in the content browser, I have navigated to the folder that contains all of the Unreal 5 mannequins. Now I'm going to click on Import, choose my Cat Motion FBX file, and I'm just going to leave all the settings at default. And there we go, no errors. Our animation is ready to use. Let me just open this up. There it is. Now on this drop down here where it says Retarget Source, I'm just going to choose Quinn, since there's two versions of the Unreal 5 uh, mannequin, the male and female. This is meant for the female. I'll save that. Now let's drag that mannequin out into the scene. And here is my animation. 
I'm going to drag and drop my animation right onto the character. Now hit play. And there it is. Beautiful. Just like that, in under 30 seconds, we've exported an animation from 3ds Max using Cat and transferred it to an Unreal mannequin um, without any retargeting whatsoever. That's just fantastic. So that is how you export an animation to Unreal. But what if you also want to export not only animations, but your own custom character using these rigs? Well, that's no problem at all. Um, all you have to do is hide or delete the Unreal mannequin, because you're not going to need it since you're going to be bringing in your own character model. And let's just say you have a character model of a fantasy dwarf, a short little stocky dwarf. Now he's obviously not going to fit the proportions of this skeleton, but that's no problem. Um, all you have to do is start selecting parts of the cat rig and adjusting it to match the proportions of your character. So I can pull the pelvis down, make his legs shorter, I'll bring that in. And then I can copy that leg, paste it to the other side. And notice as I'm doing this, that the Unreal Skeleton is automatically fitting itself to these new proportions, which is very, very cool. So I'll bring Spine down a bit and say he has some freakishly long arms, so I'll grab the hand and stretch it out. You can see the Unreal bones are moving right along with it. Okay, and then I'll select that arm and copy it to the other side. Okay, and just for the sake of this tutorial, say we're done here. This is this is the new proportions for my dwarf character that I've imported. Now, the next step is that you would need to skin your dwarf model to the Unreal Skeleton. And I want to make that clear. When you add the skin modifier, you're going to be skinning your custom character to the Unreal Skeleton bones, not the cat bones. So once that's done, once you've skinned your character to the Unreal Skeleton, at that point, he is ready for animation or to be exported to Unreal Engine. So at that point, all you would have to do is Let's just hide the cat rig, and I'll bring in the uh, character mesh again. Just pretend this is a dwarf. So we would select everything here, the uh, character model and the Unreal Skeleton, and then go to File, Export Selected, and we can just call it Dwarf, and use the same settings we did before and that character will be 100% compatible with Unreal Engine and any assets from the Unreal Marketplace, like game templates, character behaviors, animation packs, etc. Now the last thing I want to talk about is this blue arrow at the character's feet. This is called the Root Controller, and what this is is a visual representation of the Unreal Skeleton's root bone. Now, a full discussion of the root bone and what it can do is beyond the scope of this video, but basically it can do things like keeping track of where the character is in the game world within Unreal, and also for things like proper foot placement on uneven surfaces. If you'd like to know more about the root bone, just check the uh, Unreal documentation. So if you select the root controller and go over to the Modify panel, You'll see I've got some custom options here for it. Allow root rotation, allow root movement, and then a sub-menu here that gives you options to allow X, Y, and Z axis movement. And this just um, gives you some options on how you want the root bone to track along with the character as you animate it. So if you see I move the character around like this, the root bone automatically tracks along with the movement of the character, even when the feet leave the ground. So uh, this gives you a lot of control, and it, it caters to a lot of different needs depending on how your character is set up in Unreal. So 
That wraps up this video. If you have any questions, uh, you can either leave them in the comment section below or you can email me personally at the email shown on the screen. So I hope you enjoy these templates and have fun animating. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.